Welcome to Sage Pastel Peril and HR's Road Freight Leaf Bay video. Please refer to the below example. We will be covering both instances where the council pays the company directly or where the council pays the employee directly. An important setting for any council company is to ensure that the annual leave pay transaction is tipped to not use BCA leave taken. Throughout the course of the year, the company contributes toward the road freight annual leave pay scheme. You need to check if the amount the council is paying is more or less than the amount of the contribution. If the amount is more, we advise processing the difference on a taxable code. To easily determine this, we advise printing a monthly analysis to Microsoft Excel for the number of months 10 to show details from transaction 110 to transaction 110. Once the report is exported into Excel, you can edit the spreadsheet to make your calculations simpler and easier for you to follow. We advise that you identify and highlight any amount where the contributions paid is less than the leave pay received from the council. Please read through scenario 1 where the council pays the company and the company will be paying the employees. Ensure that annual leave is processed as usual. Navigate to the Income tab. When checking the monthly analysis spreadsheet, you will see this employee's leave pay is more than the contributions. Therefore, we will process the amount equal to the year-to-date value of the contribution on code R510 and the amount that exceeds the contribution on the code R520. Both codes increase the net pay, but only the portion on code R520 affects pay as UN and UIF. The portion paid on the code R510 was taxed throughout the year on the code R110. When checking the monthly analysis spreadsheet, employee 0003's leave pay was less than their monthly contribution. Therefore, only the code R510 is processed. The net pay will increase, but the pay as UN will remain the same, as this employee was taxed throughout the year on the code R110. Please read through scenario 2 where the council pays the employees directly.
as the council pays the employees directly, we will only use transactions that won't affect the net salary directly. As code R520 is set to affect the payslip, we will create a new code and uncheck the affect payslip checkbox. Leave will still be processed as usual. Navigate to the Income tab. When viewing the monthly analysis Excel sheet, you will see this employee's leave pay exceeds the contribution. As the employee receives the money directly into their bank account, we will use the code that won't increase the net pay. The code R513 will be processed with the same amount as the year-to-date contribution. The new code that we just created will be used to process the difference. The transaction that is linked to the code R520 will increase the UIF and pay as you earn, as this employee was not yet taxed on this amount. Leave will be processed as usual. As this employee's leave pay does not exceed their contributions, we will process the full amount on the code R513. R513 will not affect the net pay, the pay as you earn, or the UIF.